Hello guys, your Tito Jamski once again with a new video here in Mir 4. So, after 90 days of playing this game, here is the 5 important things that I have compiled to keep in mind when starting to play Mir 4. Main quests. Follow your main quests. Complete them as these quests will allow you to open new contents of the game like enhancements, promotional stats, entering new maps, or joining a clan. And there's so much more, all of which I mentioned will greatly increase your stats, thus giving you more firepower to complete new missions and NPC requests. And with more firepower, you will be able to repel those players who wants to take your red or yellow dark steel. Missions, requests, and mystery quests. Complete missions and requests to receive rewards. The items that you shall receive in these missions and requests as rewards will be needed as materials for crafting, enhancements, enchantments, promotional items that can greatly increase your stats, in-game currency and of course, experience points to level up. Also, you will need to complete your mystery quests for more rewards and to level up your holy shrine at the conquest tab. Foraging, Mining, and Meditation These three that I just mentioned are also key to increasing your power score. You can get a lot of promotional materials from foraging as a resource to increase your constitution or inner force. And of course, in mining you will get materials to craft and enhance your gears. Be advised though that there are two kinds of mining nodes here. There is a mining node just for materials alone and a node for dark steel in which you can also get crafting resources. Energy is being used to promote your skills to the next level and you will need a lot of these especially if you're planning to change class. Potions are a luxury in this game. They are costly, especially if you are now a high-level player sitting with 35k HP or 4k MP. So I suggest to all that copper coins in buying these potions as it will aid you in your adventure. Lest I forget, you can also get HP and MP potions on chests scattered around the world of Mir 4. There are also potions that you can craft to buff your stats or increase your resistance against crowd control skills and negative buffs from your enemies. Crafting, enhancement, and enchantments will require dark steel per click, which means you need to be wiser where to spend those dark steel. Craft only the things you need first. Start enchanting on rare or blue gears and enhance when you can. Join a clan as soon as you can. Your clanmates can help you in your daily adventures by completing new quests together or entering the boss raids and obtain the first clear rewards. Also, you can get daily supplies from your clan not to mention that there is a shop in your clan where you can buy resources using clan coins. Codex is like a library of your collected items here in Mir 4. Once you have those extra resources, then you can go ahead and complete each segment for additional stats. Start on those segments that are easy to complete and that only requires uncommon gears and register them to your codex to get those extra stats. So there you go guys, these are just the beginner things or starter tips that we should remember 
when starting to play Mir 4. Now if you have anything to add, just comment down below and uh, I'll try to include that on our next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again guys in the next videos that will be uploaded here in our channel. Don't forget to give us a like and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in our live streams in Facebook. Thank you.